What's up, guys? It's me, Boxing, and today I'm going to be listing my top boxing fighter of the year for 2020. And first of all, I'm going to be basing this off of a top five list, in which I think are the top five fighters of the year. And this list will really be based off of how they perform this year and the fighters they beat this year, and in my opinion, for them to reach this spot in the top five. And first of all, at number five, I have Jermel Charlo. He has a record of 34 wins, one defeat, with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. And he's the current unified WBA, IBF, and WBC, as well as the Ring Magazine Super Welterweight World Champion. And I put him on this list for his knockout win over Jason Rosario, where he took Rosario's uh, unified IBF and WBA Super Welterweight World titles. And at number four, I have Saul Canelo Alvarez. He has a record of 54 wins, one defeat with one draw, and 36 wins coming away of knockout. He is currently the unified WBC, uh, WBA, and Ring Magazine Super Midweight World Champion. And um, I put him on this list because of his win over Callum Smith recently in December of uh, 2020, where he really dominated against Callum Smith, who was seen as a major threat being that he was the number one super middleweight at the time and he won the world boxing super series and never looked like he was on his way out in a fight but um yeah canelo alvarez really dominated in that fight and he won the wbc and super wba world titles in the process and at number three i have roman chocolatito gonzalez he has a record of 50 wins with two defeats and 41 wins coming away of knockout he um, is currently the WBA Superfly World Champion, and I put him on this list for his wins against Israel Gonzalez and Khalid Yafai. Where against Yafai, he was seen as an opponent this time, being that he's already been world champion so many times. And after those losses to Sorong Visai, he came in there, knocked out Yafai in spectacular fashion in February of this year. Then in October um, of 2020, he beat Israel Gonzalez in a very good fight. And at number two, I have the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. He has a record of 30 wins, no defeats, with one draw and 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Tyson Fury recently, well, <laughs> about a year ago, um, he won via knockout in the seventh round against Deontay Wilder to become the WBC, as well as the Ring Magazine Heavyweight World Champion, and in my opinion, to become the number one heavyweight by far. And... In that Wilder fight, he really dominated, unlike the first fight where it was a very closely contested bout because of the knockdowns that Wilder scored. In this fight, um, Tyson Fury really showed why he's the better man and really dominated, dropped Wilder twice, and beat him to the punch every single time. And finally, at number one, my boxer of the year is Tiafimo Lopez. He's unbeaten at 16 wins with no defeats and 12 wins coming away of knockout. He's the current quote-unquote undisputed lightweight world champion. I think he's the unified champion, being that that WBC franchise world title really doesn't count. But he still has the WBO, WBA, and IBF, which I could give him credit for. But um, I'm putting him on this list because of his win over Vasily Lomachenko, which was seen as a slight upset, as I wasn't really seeing many people picking um, Tiafimo to win that fight. Many people, including myself, were saying that Lomachenko would win and outbox Tiafimo as he was inexperienced. But Tiafimo Lopez bullied Lomachenko for the first six or seven rounds and was able to get, in my opinion, it was a close decision, but the judges had it uh, fairly wide, even though those scorecards really didn't reflect what the fight was. But it was a good fight nonetheless. <clears throat> so overall, I have Tiafimo Lopez and my number one boxer of the year. Um, and all all of five of these guys on this list definitely deserve um, more credit. I know all of them are world champions. I know all of them are excellent fighters. And um, first of all, the only fighter to get two fights on this list this year is Chocolate Tito Gonzalez. So I kind of got to give him some more credit than these other guys on this list here. But because of the pandemic, I guess you could say all these other fighters would have had fights. Like Tyson Fury probably would have fought Deontay Wilder in a trilogy in July. But obviously the pandemic shut that went down. And Canelo Lavarez was supposed to fight earlier this year, and I was assuming the same for Tiafima Lopez. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm going to be boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.